Okay, folks, folks, we're here at Ghost. This is Beano Black. And basically, you're going to see what we got going on here. At uh, they, they're, If you've seen the gaps there, they're not wanting you to see what's going on early UTC time. Okay? Because they're not wanting you to see what ends up being down here because you end up seeing the Super Giants. But basically, you can pretty much see right now the edge and basically, yeah, the Super Giants plus the sun light up the earth. It's not just the sun or it'd be almost like a flashlight. Okay, so I'll scoot down through the, the info here on Ghost, and we'll pull up probably the latest shot that we got. And I think, yeah, so basically here we'll go ahead and get the closest thing we got to AM, which is about 5. Because as you see, we end up with another 237 shot, which will be on the eastern part of the world. Okay, as we go this, you see the sun is in the west. See the United States over here? And that's early UTC so you see how huge the super giants and the Sun is because basically if we get a image of like uh, we'll go down and we'll get like you, you've seen my video before on this stuff make it short because we're gonna get over to the sechi stuff and basically we'll give it something like a uh, 7 or 8 a.m. and we'll be able to see from the top I mean to the bottom on the right hand side and you can see the Sun and the super giants coming in there okay now you know that when the later in the day, the idea we get way more than that, okay? Because this is the glow of the super giants, and then when you end up seeing our closest sun, it'll be a little orange spot right there, and that's what we ended up getting before. And you would see it like formal hot or alaraf blending and being bright on the west coast on an early eastern time shot, which this one is. And the sun's coming up, comes up below Earth. Okay. So I'm going to do a sound check here in a second, make sure that we're getting this all right. And then we'll get something like a uh, evening shot, UTC time. And then you should see the sunlight on the backside. I think we'll see what we get. And there you go. You'll see the sun going away from the West Coast. You see what I'm saying? And. Go to my video that showed this ghost stuff before. I'm having a hard time trying to pick out one now that'll have that little Alaraf, formal hot, or whatever popping up. Uh, we'll try like the 230 mark or something like that and see if we actually have it there. There's 230 something UTC. And you get the little bit of the spot where we're talking about right there. But you see, this is when the sun is supposed to be coming up in the east. So you know that that little orange spot right there is one of the super giant suns. More than likely Alaraf, Formal Hot. Uh, and let me go show you that. Now it's flaming so hot right now in the sun. And let me go to another shot and you can see how, how crazy it's going. Now hang on, I'll give you a fresh shot of like this. Here's a pretty fresh magnetical of the ninth. And look at how much the sun is throwing off. CMEs and crap through space. Check that out. Whammo and whammo, and then we'll go right a little bit. Now, my other videos you sh I showed you basically, you can see that the idea that Alaraf and everything is up there. Let's go ahead and uh, here's the CME warning we're in for the 14th through the 15th, okay? And basically, no matter what, you see when they get alerts, and they've been giving alerts out, and now we're in a warning and a watch. Okay, we're in the green, we're in the watch area now. Okay, so I refresh this and we got a high wind speed again right now. And this one freezes when it shows the spikes on the dynam dynamic pressure here. And you can see the sun, how much it's flaring. I'm really, this is wild that this was all to break loose over here at one time on the sun. It's getting crazy. And you can see how the meatball more than likely blocks right here. A lot of the CMEs that come off the sun because this is earth over here. The meatballs out there. Let's take a look at that. And our absorption right now of frequencies from outer space is wild right now. It's a vast region. Picking up big time. So it'll help actually quakes because it'll mess with the frequencies of what we got in our magnetical in the ground. And it'll stir stuff up a lot, a lot with just with the sun too. And there's your auroral, how much it's off on the north and on the south currently. Four minutes refresh a minute. So, and as it said up there, 
They say we're quiet, geomagnetic field, but we got a six, almost just five, high 560 to 575 mile an hour solar wind. We've got a very active solar flux right now. There's a close up of how off our north is right now. And here's the wild sun, man. She is hot and pissed off right now. Let's check her out. She's a fuego, and I'm really worried about that over here hitting us on Earth, because that would be, this would be directed towards Earth if this flies off. Okay? And we go... And we'll go through these here. Give herself 150 zoom. We should be able to watch all these here. There's the action from that one on the tent. Let that CME come off again up high. Huge CME there. That's a head, I believe. This is where you get the meatball on this one. You can't miss it, it's right in the middle. This is the tenth. Also, let's go down so you see that. You're blowing in the meatball at 200%, and you can't miss the meatball right here. No, it's not a halo of the sun, ladies and gentlemen. The sun is totally blocked out right here. Okay. And the meatball is there, and basically you can see it and watch my last six videos because basically they were blocking the sound like crazy. I showed you a lot of shots of it from what I was able to get a hold of. And basically that is something like one million six thousand miles away is Venus from Earth right now. Okay. So if you just double that just for a round of about estimate of how far a meatball is out. And then you go see what I showed you in the last six, last six videos of the meatball from Fireball, seeing it from the actual sky on the ground in the Georgia and Alabama, Arkansas area, that the thing is flipping huge, okay? And you also see it from just seeing it here compared to, and Venus, this isn't that big, but you don't get to see it. You just know that Uranus is back here in the dark, okay? You gotta, I don't know how the hell you're gonna pick that out. At least they mark where it's at. Okay, and Uranus ain't that damn big. It's pretty much about the same sizes of Earth and so forth and so on such. So basically, Uranus should be something like that right there, that little star there, or this right here. It's somewhere back there in the darkness of space. And what's really wild in this Sechi Core A shot is watch this light come in over by where my cursor's at. Check it out. Watch when it comes in. Get rid of that frame too in time. Now watch this come in. It's going to be a big old flash of light through space check that how huge it is too because even though that's close to the camera when it comes back around again here in a second got to realize how huge whatever is out way out deep in space sent that light there okay because here it'll come in again watch keep it playing and here it is wham see that that's wild and once again there's the meatball and we'll just zoom in on it hopefully i can get it to, to zoom tool to come out without delaying too much here and we'll just pop up to 400 blow in on that meatball you can't miss that meatball right there and that's fresh from the 10th just came off the shot you can back up the video so we go out of this and oh yeah let me go a little bit right so you know where it's at okay so probably more than likely that's about 212 million miles 202 what am i saying it's probably 2 million in 12 miles away okay and when that shot was at 1109 UTC time this stuff was going down in the west okay and there is nothing to the east okay there's nothing to the east and we'll go up and I'm pretty sure they'll come in and show you that the idea that that was for the sky charter 1109 p.m. UTC and check this out and here's the arrival time for the CME is late tonight, early a.m. through probably noon tomorrow or later afternoon on the 14th. Here's your CME arrival time. So we're going to get a CME off that M. 
This is our plasma going through space. It's about the action we're putting off on our plasma field outside of the Earth and how much it's getting kind of reduced down from its average as you see that outside dotted circle. That's the average size and we're getting some wild action. That's our actual plasma out there. We're in a vacuum here Earth because of its our plasma and atmosphere folks. And that's it going through space. This is how I ballparked that 106 0.4 million miles, so it's, I figure 212 million miles because that's the distance from Venus to, to Earth right now, and that's where the meatball would probably be at. It's probably a so bar, ballpark is like 212.8 million miles away, and that's the meatball we were talking about. If you missed it, right there, got it caught on fireball. You can see it right through the sky, and this was at 3 a.m. in the morning, 3:09 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 11:09 UTC time, Zulu time. Okay. So this was the light you were getting that was coming over in the east from the supergiants and then barely dark enough to be able to see it, the meatball. Okay, and then also got it caught in the stereo A H high one two on the 9th of October 2012. The meatball is right there. What you were seeing in the videos a little bit ago got caught in the magneticism right there. So you can really tell that the idea that actual fact, well, there's Earth over here with the moon barely on top of it dark side of the earth and moon right there and then the dark side back by uranus neptune pluto and all the big stuff back there by uranus and so forth dark side where there's hardly any light the meatball is usually in the dark or in a bunch of brightness and it's right in between right now so you can see it real good here's the information on formal haunt and the sun and alraf basically there's the sizes, physical size comparison, and there's your chart, often the super giants and how they're lined up, and then that's why we end up seeing this stuff here. I'll keep going through the data, and I'll show you the shots that basically you can pretty much see them in line. Watch how they're in line. On this shot, you can see Alarap low, and I'll suck it up a little bit. Gonna get it too big and wow okay so you can see alaraf down here on the bottom and then it'll rise later and more than likely it might be formal hot here below and alaraf here behind as you can see the outline right there below the sun there's a close-up and it's something like six trillion miles in radius or something like that too Six trillion miles in radius this meatball is, and that's where you can see it down here in very close, cool, super giant sunlight glow coming over the east at 3 a.m. in the morning, Central Standard Time, East Coast. And this was caught down in Georgia area. And then the darkness of night here, and you can see the super giant that's massive meatball. X Planet Nibiru, whatever you want to call it. And this should be it up by Venus, folks. Right there. And one of those suns bent around the sun and did that. That wasn't a flare. That was basically Alaraf, Formal Hot, or a compilation of a bunch of stars in the supergiants basically made a big old flash around the sun and basically got distorted a little bit. Either that or they tried to hide the whole flash because basically it almost looks like the sun is going supernova and it's not. It's just a bunch of light propagation getting together in the same area the same hole that we get to be able to give us just like a camera just enough light to survive we are hiding in a rabbit hole we are luckier than shit on earth so here's a lot of physical comparison of what's going on on some of the stuff that's close to the sun up there and there's your ascensions and declinations and basically had this stuff for area west coast here western part of, of north dakota basically and we can go back up here to the size comparison and there they are sitting out there in the super giants main sequence and this is all actual factual stuff and so pisces is the area that you want to be looking okay and then those are those super giant suns that are giving us all the heat okay formal hot around pisces and then 
also in the back door in the darkness all everything's getting seen because of all of the light propagation is being able to see in the deep darkness of our back door on earth to be able